Well, my name is Matt Ellerbeck and I'm called the Snake Man and I'm a local snake conservationist and advocate and my objective is to basically raise awareness of the fact that many snake species from all around the world, including right here in Ontario, are now listed as threatened or endangered. But unfortunately, unlike other groups of animals, snakes don't exactly have many advocates or allies and that's what inspired me to start my own snake advocacy program. This is Butters right here, and the darker one is Magma. And these are both corn snakes, which are some of the most common snakes you'll see in the pet trade. And they're very, very docile and gentle snakes. And these guys are really one of the staples of my snake shows. Um, a lot of people come in uh, week after week to see uh, Magma over and over because she is very gentle and docile. And as you can see, they kind of just do their own thing. And, and that's why I bring the snakes to the show. A lot of people have this misconception that snakes are these horribly aggressive or dangerous animals, but that's simply not true. Um, the fact of the matter is they're quite gentle by na nature. They're very placid and have quite sweet dispositions. And uh, studies have even shown that the only time that snake bites really occur on human beings is when someone is purposely trying to capture or kill the snake and they bite purely in self-defense. And we now know that if the snake is venomous, so let's just say someone comes across a venomous snake and they are harassing it and it does bite them, they often give what's called a dry bite where no venom is actually injected. The reason snakes have venom is for prey capture. We're not food for them so they don't want to waste their venom on us. And that's one of the big things I try to teach people is that we don't have to be afraid of these animals. If anyone is out camping or hiking or cottaging and they see a snake, all they have to do is leave it alone and they'll never ever be hurt by one. Snakes don't make unprovoked attacks on people. They don't go looking for people to bite. They really want nothing to do with us. We're not food for them. We're not a mate for them. So they really just want to be left alone. And my corn snakes here are a great example of just how gentle snakes can be. I mean, here I am draped in snakes and they're not hissing at me or wrapping around my neck or biting me or I'm really not even holding them. They're not even trying to get away. They're just calmly resting on me like they would a tree branch. As a child, I grew up in Oshawa, which is quite an urban center, so I didn't have a lot of exposure to wildlife or the outdoors. Uh, luckily though, I did spend my summers with my grandparents and they had a cottage and a trailer and I used to go looking for snakes and turtles and frogs and other creatures. And I think that's where this fascination started. I remember being a little boy, only about nine years old, and catching this massive four foot long water snake. So this snake was almost as big as I was and bringing it back to the campground and insisting everyone should look at it and see how beautiful and interesting they were. And even then, if someone had said something negative about snakes, I would defend them and say, why? Why are you saying that? Why do you hate it? Why are you afraid of it? It's not doing anything to you. And that fascination and interest stayed with me um, throughout my life and naturally evolved into a concern for snakes when I started to realize about some of the issues they were facing, like um, their population declines and the exploitation they're facing. So it's something I've always had in me and I've just held on to that and kept that passion and it, it's just grown naturally throughout the years. Okay, what is this scary looking thing? This guy here is called a publin milk snake and although he looks like a venomous coral snake, he's in fact non-venomous and the easiest way to tell the difference between a non-venomous tricolored snake and a venomous one is to think of a traffic light. So on a traffic light, yellow will be touching red. So if you think caution or stop. Same with on the venomous snakes, yellow band will be touching the red band and you'll think caution, stop. But on this guy, we can see yellow touches black, not red. So we know that this is indeed a non-venomous milk snake and not a venomous coral snake. I love all animals and so throughout the years I branched off and done projects with scorpions and turtles and also general animal advocacy as well. So some people might have seen me um, before talking about scorpions or, or, or snapping turtles but the main focus for me has always been snakes and I think um, in branching out it's, it really is still related to the main cause because what we do good for one animal is really good for them all.
these little animals do wonderful things for human beings. First off, they're the top controllers of rodents, like mice and rats, and these uh, pests can not only destroy crops affecting our food supply and our industries, which makes snakes economically important, but they are also one of the leading causes of house fires in North America when they get into walls and attics and chew on wires, and certainly nobody wants to be in a house fire, and rodents can spread all sorts of harmful diseases. So snakes do us a tremendous service by being a very efficient and natural form of pest control so we don't have to rely on harmful pesticides which can be damaging to the environment. But aside from that, snakes are also important because they're integral in saving the lives of millions of people every year because snake venoms are being used in hospitals to treat everything from heart and stroke disease, breast cancer, Parkinson's, blood clots and more. So someone who might come up to me and say, you know, I don't like snakes or why should they be protected could one day get sick or have a loved one that gets sick and it's going to be because of snakes that their quality of life is saved or at least greatly improved. So that's why they're important, but not only to us, but to the environment and to biodiversity as well. So if there's one thing I really want people to know about snakes, it's that they're really inoffensive, gentle animals. They're not the murderous monsters that TV and movies of things have made them out to be. And the other thing that we need to understand is that they are extremely beneficial to have around. And we need to know that and need to understand that they do deserve to be protected and conserved, not just for our sake, but for the sake of the environment as well. So I just want people to hopefully see snakes in a different way not be afraid of them, not hate them, but want to be inspired to protect them and conserve them and want to learn how they can help them out. As I said before, snakes do a lot of great things for us, so it would be great if we could actually give something back to them.